Let's replace the subboard on this Samsung S24 Ultra. First, power off the phone. Start by heating the device. We're using the PolarTech Magic Self heating pad. More info is in the link below. After 10 minutes, heating is complete. Start by removing the back cover. Use a thin metal tool to open a gap and drip in some alcohol. Once there's a gap, use a plastic pick to go around and separate the glue. If you feel resistance, add more alcohol. Take your time here. Great, the back cover is off. There are 15 screws in total. Start with the top section. Remove the mainboard shield. Always disconnect the battery first. Remove the top speaker assembly, it's held in by six screws. Use a spudger to lift out the subboard shield along with the speaker. Carefully disconnect all flex cables attached to the subboard. Don't forget to remove the SIM card tray.
There are three screws. Gently lift the subboard with a tweezers. About this small board, there may be several versions. This one is the U version which means it's the US model. When replacing it, we must use the same U version. Otherwise, it could cause signal issues. Since this is the correct U version, there won't be any problems. Align the new subboard and reconnect all the cables. Just a reminder there are three more screws to go. Reinstall the loudspeaker and tighten all screws. Don't forget the mainboard bracket too. Before sealing the phone, test the charging port. If everything works, close the back cover securely. To ensure better water resistance, we need to clean off all the leftover adhesive from both the frame and the back cover. First, remove the old glue you can use tweezers like I'm doing here to slowly peel it up. Then use a cleaning cloth with a bit of alcohol to wipe around the edges. This is our original back cover adhesive. It provides excellent water and dust resistance.
After applying it like this, use a clamp to press the phone for about 2 hours for the best result. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more repair guides.